Yeah, Kevin Sproul here. I'm going to show you how to make a permanent magnet generator. Now this is going to be a really powerful generator, so like be careful when you get it going like I got it, like I'm going to get it going. But this I had to take this apart. This AC motor See, I had to take that apart, then pulled off the rotor with a prat with a puller. The puller, you see the shaft there has a little thing to put the tip of the puller in. So I did that, and then I put on my new little gadge there, some NASA technology there, a little duct tape. And I'm going to hot glue the magnets. Here's my magnets. Now these are some powerful magnets. These are the kicker. Not them small ones. These are bigger. These are special ones. But I'm going to weld them on there. With the, or glue them on there. Six of them. Bing, 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 all the way around. Then I'm going to take this wire here. I'm going to wrap that around there about 500 times. Because so what happens when you do this? It's going to want to pull. It's going to want to shoot apart. The magnets are. So just having hot glue on there isn't like the first one of these I ever made. I used a shoelace. I got all the magnets on there, and then I used a shoelace. But you got to compensate for that distance that. The, the thickness of the shoelace you know and that's you don't have a lot of room here that's all I could fit with six magnets in there that's all it'll fit so the bigger ones of these the better I'm telling you that right now the bigger that hole the better if you can find a motor with a big hole that is great that's what you want but okay, so we're going to do that, so I'll get back to you. This is what the magnets look like when they're on there. And what you got is uh, another magnet. You got four attracts. Right in a row, boom, 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 four, and then four repels. See that? You don't go north, south, north, south. You go north, 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 south, 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 south. So half the half the circle, half the cylinder here that this makes is north. Half is south. Yeah, that's the way you want to do it. Now I'm gonna wrap some uh, my hot glue. Wrap some 24 gauge wire on here around here. You have to notice something to get the magnets to fit. I had to grind a couple of them. I don't know if you can see that. See, I had to grind down a couple of them. See that? Get them fit. So. That's okay, though. So I'll give you another look in a minute. When I get the wire on there. This is what it looks like after the wire's on there. I'm going to stick it in, see how many volts and amps we get. Pretty neat. Okay. I got the magnets in there, I got it all hooked up. There's my 150 watt DC electric motor this is my 
homemade permanent magnet generator uh, magneto generator that's about the closest thing I can get to describe it but it's just a half horsepower AC pump motor reverted into a magneto generator when I put the magnets in there like that and got her spinning and it is lighting 87.2 watt DC diode light bulbs or LED light bulbs LEDs okay and I'm lighting one over here Okay, lighten that one too. And I just ran out of light bulbs. I, I could hook more up, but I just ran out of light bulbs. Okay. Here's a... Uh, so that's 57.6 watts or something. 57 watt, we'll see. Now I'm running these two batteries series together. There's my motor hookups, and I got a series together. I got all three of these series together, and I can run different speeds, see? But we only need that much power. So I got them series together. And I got my lights all wired up. There's my diode bridge. It's not running itself. It's not a self-running thing yet. It's getting closer. So there's 56 watt. And here is... It's my amp meter. DC amps. Zero it out. And I'm doing 24 volt. times 1.5 amps 1.5 now go to volts now DC volts I'll show you that it's kind of hard one handed put this one in here Let's do this one handed. So there's my hook up there. Here's my hook up going on here. And that gives me 23.82 times. That's what I'm pumping into that motor right there. 1.5 amps times 23.82 so 24 so 24 volts doesn't matter DC AC the wattage is the same roughly by like 0.01 or something it's a difference so you got 57 watt and I'm gonna prove that that's 57 watt in a minute really try to because I'm one this is a one hand I need someone recording this video for me seeing as it's the most important video of all time but anyway so we got 24 times 1.5 amps 24 volts times 1.5 amps that equals 36 watt I got eight seven watt light bulbs running that's 56 watt I beat it by 20 watt 21 watt and I still got power left and it don't bog down when you shut these off either 
Watch. And don't listen to the engine. See, I'm shutting off them lights. The engine don't bog down. You see? What I had to do there to get that to happen was after I figured out there's coils in here. And these wires, these five wires come out and four of them are from the coils. S separate coils of wire. One's a low voltage coil, one's a high voltage coil. When you series them together, you get a voltage and an amperage. And when I go through, see, and then I come up here, I go off these wires here. See them plugged in there? They're plugged in right here. I got wire here. Then I got a series. Then that wire comes over to here. I'm up to here. Into my two to one step down transformer except I got it one to two I'm jacking the volts up into this one because see when you do the when you get the perpetual motion generator you want this to be pumping about 30 volts at five amps down to 12 volts at 10 amps so inside of here is only so big so you can only get so many magnets in there so I couldn't technically do what I was trying to do with this I need a different one you want to try a general electric AC motor from like the 1960s is what you want. That's what I'm looking for. Any a shout out if anybody can anti grav guy one at yahoo.com if you can get me exactly what I just said a general electric AC pump motor from 1960s or whatever 70s anything. Try it all. They all work. They all will become a generator. We will figure this out, people. So right there I beat it. And then I got going from my 2 to 1 into a Variac. So I jacked it up. I jacked my 100 watt up in my voltages and down in my amperages. And then got it into this, and I got it this on 105%. I can turn that down, up or down. And you see the lights barely get dimmer. If I go all the way off, see they shut off. I can get that baby all the way down to 80%. Before you can really even see a light difference but I know in my measurements it's a one or two watt difference but whatever it's working it just ain't running itself couldn't figure that one out yet we will figure it out because I got the power I'm pumping thirty six into that electric motor And out of my generator, I'm getting 57 with more to spare. The only reason I can't show you more is because... The only reason I can't show you more light bulbs is because... Uh, see, these are all wired to my... 
I guess you'll just have to take my word for it. I wouldn't lie to you. Remember that when I run for president or become a trillionaire. I would not lie to you, people. Aliens are real, I bet ya. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Let's see. Um. Now we're gonna try to show you how them. I know them lights are. These are my wires to my lights. See all. I got this series to 24 volts. It does matter what you hook up and what your volts are pumping out. So. I might have to get back to you on this one. I don't know. This is going to be hard. Let's come over here. We'll hook you up. Negative. Oh, this won't be too bad. There's negative. So. Here's one light. Wait. Here's one light. Five point six oh. See that? Five point six one. And here's all four lights. Twenty two point. <coughs> Excuse me. 22.93 okay I just turned it down remember my variac so let's turn it back up to where we had it 105 be good. see the lights didn't go up or down or nothing is that weird it's pretty cool actually it's part of the whole discovery 24.28 volts is what I'm pumping into these light bulbs at 24.8 we'll say 24 volts 24 volts I just did on the here let's get back let's get an exact read for all them okay so there's a string of four two strings okay I got them seriesed they're six volts each. I got them seriesed. Six, 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 six to 24. And then I got paralleled another series. That's what you're looking at right here, believe it or not. So I got two strips of six volt lights, which I'll show you right now. One light is oh yeah that's oh no oh okay yeah one light is we got my see the voltmeter one volt one thing is 5.93 just arced them big mess I'm gonna fix this up so you can really see it someday 
Ah, arcing them out. Hitting the diode with my light. 5.93. That arc out should be proof to all of you that I'm not fucking around. These are all series together. What's this one say? 6.07. Five point nine three. So I mean, let's see, eighteen point two six. That's three of them, series together. Then twenty four point two seven. You see that? And then take my handy dandy. We go over to these amps here. I go to DC. Ooh. Oh, it was on DC. Sorry about that. That's DC. Zeroed out. Zeroed out. Zero. Put my negative in there. So I got these alligator clips. Oop. Okay, I see what I'm doing. Okay, it's in there. See, that's how many amps I have total on this left or whatever completely out of my generator. So, so it would be 24 at 6 amps. That's what it says I got left to go. We'll have to figure that out in a second. So that was a good read right there. And this is saying... Oh, okay. Right there. Oh, damn it. Hold on. Had to get that other. Uh, too many things here. Too many wires. And okay, I'm coming back. Okay, negative. No. Negative. Ah. I'm just trying to show you what one light bulb's amperage is. I already showed you what the volts were. Six. Oh, amperage. See these two? Touching these two here. Oh. Damn. One. One point one. One point one. On the amp meter. The bad connection there. So 1.1, 1, .1, one of these light bulbs guessed, so we'll go over to the trusty computer. <clears throat> trusty, rusty, dusty computer. Go to calculator. So, I set that baby at 6 volts. 6 volts on one light bulb times... One point one equals six point six times eight. 
equals 52.8. You've seen I'm only using 36, so minus 36. 16.8 watts of free energy. Totally free. All mine. For a lot of years, I'm messing around. So, we'll get it figured out. But I'm going to shut her down now. See you later.